Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and sometimes I wish I wouldn't buy such big, heavy cookbooks. I treated myself to this intriguing cookbook, the Monday Morning Cooking Club, new now for something sweet. It is apparently an Australian group of ladies, the Monday Morning Cooking Club, and they are, well, let's, let me read you what this says. I need my glasses for this one. The irrepressible, unstoppable women of the Monday Morning Cooking Club are back with the very best, sweetest, and most outstandingly delicious recipes curated and perfected from Jewish kitchens across Australia and the world. A joyful cookbook that honors and celebrates the most cherished family recipes alongside moving stories of warmth, family, friendship, community, and survival. This is a book to treasure and cook from day after day. All right, I love Jewish cookbooks. And I don't think I've read a lot of Australian cookbooks. Starting off nicely with a beautiful photo. Harper Collins is the publisher. I believe it's uh, fall 2020. The contents. Let's dive in. Introduction, the sisterhood. I'll go back and read that later on my own because I'm not sure what's going on. Kitchen notes. The biscuit tin, otherwise known as cookies. The everyday cake. The chocolate cake. The occasion cake the chiffon cake, squares and bars, pastries and tarts, I love tarts, yeasted dough, sweet cheese, what, ooh, and dessertable, an extra something, a drink, and a nut. Oh, this is going to be fun. I completely forgot this was a baking book. It's heavy and it's hard to hold up. <clears throat> so here's some of the ladies involved in the making of this book. Okay, kitchen notes, la la la. They've got their aprons on. They're ready to cook, I'm assuming, on Monday morning. The biscuit tin. All right, this is heavy, expensive quality paper, beautiful photography. Nice. A quiet moment on your own. A quick cup of tea shared with a friend. The biscuit tin delivers at the pop of a lid. We are always inspired by the grannies and bubbas who filled leaning towers of biscuit tins with love to be opened the moment someone dropped in. That was not a tradition in my family. Was it in yours? Heaven forbid there was nothing to offer. These are the biscuits we want in our pantries. Okay. Ooh. People and stories. It's all different people remembering the type of cookies that were in their homes. And now the first recipe of the cookbook, Honey Snaps and Molasses Cookies. And then Almond Butter Biscuits and Persian Shortbread. Ooh, I bet that's that with the pistachios in it. Pistachio, pistachio. Romany Creams, Romany Creams. Now, all of a sudden, there's no pictures anymore. Chocolate sugar biscuits, brown sugar nutties. I'm nutty enough. Horseshoes, chocolate coconut macaroons. Oh, here's the pictures. I spoke too soon, and they are gorgeous. Yum. This is turning out to be a beautiful cookbook. Chocolate oat cookies. You know, it's hard to take a bad picture of chocolate chip cookies. They just look so good when you photograph them, but that one's beautiful. Viennese Ishla biscuits, Ishla. Okay, I can't go through the whole book, so let's go through the next chapter, the everyday cake. Oh, I love cake. I like to eat it for breakfast. Here's memories of their grandmother's cakes. I'm assuming their family's cakes. How to bake cake. Step-by-step -step photos. I love those. I wish they were a little bigger, but I get the drift. Basic butter cake. Good staple to have on hand. Lemon syrup cake. Lemon cake is my favorite. And a bunch of, I would call these breads, but they're cakes. Okay, like loaf cakes, yeah. Date, walnut, and brandy cake, especially if I can drink brandy with it. Uh, apple and jam oil cake, that looks good for autumn, especially. Passover pear cake, and now we're into the chocolate cake chapter. I'll just pick a couple to show you, because we don't want to go through the whole book. You need to buy your own. How about chocolate coconut milk cake? I am not a fan of coconut, personally. It seems polarizing. You either love it or hate it. It's a texture thing, not a flavor thing. Double chocolate nut cake. That's not a very attractive picture. No offense. Chocolate hazelnut. Ah, here's a pretty picture. Yay, cake. Gorgeous. Is this inspiring you to get in the kitchen? The occasional cake. How's that different? 
We are often inspired by memories of our grandmother's afternoon tea tables, fully laden, a floral teapot complete with delicate cups and tiny teaspoons, and in the center of it all, an impressive, gorgeous statement of a cake. Oh, this will be fun. Oh, cinnamon swirl coffee cake. Yep, I would definitely want to show that off. Upside down peach cake. Perfect in late summer, early autumn. Dark fruit cake. Ugh, Russian honey cake. Yum, that would be very good with tea or coffee. Whoa, don't know what this is. Look at all those layers. Whoa, looks complicated. Napoleon cake. Okay. The chiffon cake. Ooh, let's check this out. Lots of step-by-step -step photos. Awesome. Custard chiffon. Looks nice and moist. Glazed honey chiffon. Do they mean bundt cakes? It looks like bundt cakes to me. Pat Silver Citrus Sponge. Yum. Yum. Now I'm hungry. Oh, that's interesting. I love it. They're showing the empty bundt cake mold, which they're calling a chiffon cake. I like that. You show empty. That's clever. Squares and bars. Neither of those are really my personal favorites, but let's see if they can convince me. Dried apricot jam to go in the middle of the bars. Nice. I used to have an apricot tree when I lived in San Diego. Three layer jam diamonds. And of course, when I had an apricot tree, I didn't care for apricots. And now that I do, I live in Seattle where we can't quite grow those very well. Crunchies. Pecan and date squares. This is beautiful. A sheet pan linzer tort. That is gorgeous. I would love to serve something nice like that. Orange almond bars. Ah, I'm getting carpal tunnel from holding this giant cookbook. Okay. Pastries and tarts. This is going to be fun. I love pastries and tarts. More step-by-step -step photos of someone stirring. Oh, hamantaschen. Or is it hamantaschen? Anyway, you know what I mean. Summer fruit galette. <gasps> Passion fruit tart. Mm-hmm. These Australians know how to bake. Oh, I've never seen something like this in a cookbook. Caramel nut tart. That looks good. Okay. <gasps> Chocolate and cherry kinlick. That is beautiful. Wow, and I love cherries. Okay, I can't show you the whole book, and I can't hold it up very long. Excuse me. Ugh. This is not going to be the most graphic Ugh, cookbook look through. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to try and hold it up. Yeasted dough. Ooh, muffins, popovers maybe, how to yeast, very important. Apple, cinnamon, honey, hala. Sufganiot, monas de chocolat. Yum. Ooh, some breads, yum. Okay, keep going, keep going. Next chapter, can't really find where it starts. Uh-oh, well, we're just going to have to jump in to whatever that chapter is. Cheese and raisin pastries. <sighs> that just makes me want a big cup of tea right now. New York style cheesecake. We must be in the sweet cheese section. Yes, cherry and cheese strudel. We're in the cheese chapter. Mm-hmm. Kolak, check apricot crumble slice. Nice. Dessertable. Well, this entire book is full of desserts, but okay. More step-by-step -step photos. I love that they start every chapter. Vanilla pouring custard. Espresso prunes. Hungarian fruit soup. Ooh. Some kind of ice cream, white chocolate, and passion fruit mousse. Cute in those little cups. We're getting to the end. Let's see what we should. Ooh, a fig and caramel sour cream pavlova. That is gorgeous. Okay, I love this cookbook. I'm actually almost going to cry because it's so awesome. The extra something. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, here's the step by step photos date coconut and ginger balls, nut and date coins. Okay, cute. Cranberry, almond, and pistachio nougat. I get it. Things that don't really fit in in either chapter, but you want to know how to make them. Panforte. Moroccan almond cigars. Yum. I know for a fact those are amazing. And now we're into the drinks chapter. April spritz, spritz granita. Anchovy twist. No, thank you. Spice cheese biscuits. Oh, these are the nuts, and I skipped most of the drinks. Oh, wait. The drinks are my favorite part. Let's see what else they have besides old-fashioned lemon cordial. Does it have vodka in it? All right. Wow, that was amazing. Now for something sweet. By the Monday Morning Cooking Club, Australian Jewish Recipes. That was amazing.
I highly recommend it. It's very heavy. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more of our cookbook look-throughs, follow Cookbook Divas on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Pinterest.